This tutorial is going to be a quick one. It's going to be on um, this is going to be a more on cursor position. You see here, 190 and 20. We're going to be using an infinite loop because we're going to have where you can move the cursor around with the arrow keys. And by cursor, I mean the little underscore cursor in the console, not your mouse cursor. Um, so mob a802. Or what we're going to do, we're first going to move into BL0 mob CL0. Think of BL as your X coordinate and CL as your Y. Now let's jump to 110, that just well, defines it. And A110, jump 110. This is going to be like an infinite loop. And first thing we're going to do in the loop is 0, 02 mob DL BL mob CL or DH CL and 10. What this does is int 10 reads 0 2 as a positioning cursor function and it checks the DL register for your X and the DH register for your Y. Now mob A808 and 21 that will pause for our key press and we're going to compare the key 1B that's the escape key and if it's, you press the escape key it's going to jump to 190 and end our loop and it's going to also compare it with 48 and if it's equal to 48, let's jump to 140. And or I, I actually moved. I should have compared it. There we go. And now at 140, we're going to say mob or add cl1 jump 110. I'll explain this a little more once we see it in action. Debug test.asm test. As you can see, my cursor is right here, and I press the up key, it goes down, and when I press the escape key, it exits. Um, one B is your escape key, so you compare the key you press with one B, and if you press that, it's going to end the code. And 48 is your up key, 50 is your down key. And what I did when I added 1 to CL, like I said, think of CL as your um, Y. When you add 1 to your Y, it moves down. Because 0, 0 is the top corner of your console. If you add more to Y, it's going to go down. If you add more to X, it's going to go this way. So what I did is I just changed that to 50. 50 represents your down arrow key. And if I press the down arrow key, it's going to add 1 to CL. So right here, DH, when it moves CL into DH, it's and now position the Y, it's going to move it one more down. So let's compare AL with 48 and jump equals 150. Now A150, sub CL1, that will make it go up, jump 110. And now we can go ahead and run this again if you want to see it. CLS test. As you can see, I can press down and make my cursor go down. I can press the up keys and make it go up. And then I can press escape and um, get out of it. Now A160. Um, add BL1 jump 110. That's for moving it right. A170. Add BL or sub BL1 jump 110 that will move it left and now what we want to do is compare a out with 4b and if it's equal to 4b go to 160 compare a l 4d and if it's equal to 4b go to 170 debug cls test Apparently I got my keys backwards. So 4B's your um I sold 4B to go to 160, which moves it right, but 4B's your left arrow key. So let me fix that. 4 D 4B. 4B's your right arrow key. Let's debug this again. CLS test. And there you go. Now we can move the cursor around with the arrow keys. And then when you press escape, 
it ends it. Um, you can use the co changing console color thing and play around with that. I was working on a little notepad code. Now I'll show you to it real quick. Notepad.asm. You can maybe play around and make something like this. Hi. Oops. Hi. Let me erase this. Pi is good. My computer's slow, so it's jumping around a lot. Pi is good. There. So I was making this with kind of the same thing you're doing. When I press escape, it resets the console. So um, in the next tutorial, I'll um, the reason I'm showing you more on positioning the cursor is in the next tutorial I'm going to show you something that requires a little bit of knowledge of positioning the cursor.